Today's Spotlight on Naperville is brought to you in part by... Welcome back to Spotlight on Naperville. I'm Nancy Wearsome, and we're going to conclude our show with Think First National Injury Prevention Foundation. And I know, Debbie, you have been on before. Always Thank a you. pleasure to see you. Thanks. Debbie Gerhard Stein is Executive Director, so good to have you. Thank you. Jill Brazelton is RNBSN Director of the Think First Cadence Health and your chapter director and state director. So that's a, that's a lot, we'll talk about that in a minute. And Charlie Hayes is the injury prevention specialist with Think First Cadence Health as well. So good to have you too. So Debbie, let's start by refreshing people's memory about what Think First does. Sure, well, you know, a lot of people don't realize that injuries are the leading cause of death for children, teens, and young adults, and these are injuries that, traumatic injuries like brain or spinal cord injuries that are caused by things like vehicle crashes, violence, sports, or falls. And, you know, we working in the healthcare industry see this a lot and, and know that they could be prevented. So Think First was started uh, about 28 years ago. Uh, and it was started by physicians and nurses that wanted to help prevent these injuries from occurring. So we developed programs that are appropriate for different grade levels. And, uh, you know, we uh, train people at hospitals throughout the U.S. and internationally to be able to pre present uh, these programs to schools and provide the materials for them to go out and be effective in injury prevention. And a lot of people may not know this is actually the national foundation that's here mm -hmm. in Naperville. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we we moved the headquarters to Naperville about 3 years ago. So, um, we're really happy to have that here. We have about uh, 150 chapters in the US and about 39 internationally. So, we're happy to be headquartered here in Naperville. Yes, and I know Naperville is yeah. happy to have you here Thanks. too. So, and now, Jill, I'm going to move to you and ask you about what the local branch does for, uh, of Think First does for the community. Okay, so uh, Think First Cadence Health is housed here at Cadence Health in Winfield, and we have all three programs. There are three different programs for Think First. There's Think First for Teens, Think First for Youth, and Think First for Kids. So our program has a pretty extensive program where we go into the schools at all the grade levels. That's, and, that's a lot. And, and to talk about preventing injury. Yes, specific right? to, yes, to brain and spinal cord injury. We will present in um, health education classes and driver's ed classes. A big focus, as Debbie mentioned, on traffic safety. We have a very big, large helmeting program, which Charlie will talk about. So, so thinking first before you... Use your, yes, to yeah, just make yeah. sure you make good choices. Focusing on teaching students to think about the choices they make that the choices they make today will affect the rest of their life. Sure. And Charlie, let's talk about, because you're working with the elementary students, right? Thank so you. tell us what you do. I have a fun job. I work with um, Think First for Kid. It's for first through third graders. And we go out to the schools. We do a um, assembly. We have a little robot named Street Smart who talks to the kids. And we go over what their brain does for them, what their spinal cord does, but we do it in a fun way for the kids. And then it's wrapped up in the package of, and then the choices that you make, like wearing a helmet every time that you ride your bike, wearing your seatbelt, sitting in your booster seat when you're in the car, things like that to reinforce it when they go. And then yes, we do have some funding where we've been able to give um, kids helmets. Um, and we gave about 900 out this past year to um, Naperville kids. So. That is a lot of helmets. It and is. you are actually in the Naperville <clears throat> schools. We were talking yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. So at all those levels. Right. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, so that's, that's a lot of kids. <laughs> and um, I want to move to, we talked a little bit about concussions. Right. Let's talk about that, Debbie. Well, a concussion is a mild brain injury. So we've always talked about preventing brain injuries. But there's a huge interest, of course, now that we hear nationally about concussion prevention. And the biggest part of that is really helping kids to be aware of the fact that if they are experiencing signs and symptoms of concussion, to let somebody know, pull themselves out of the game, 
you know, be seen by somebody who is trained in concussion and not to come back to play until they've been released by somebody like a physician who knows, uh, you know, when they're ready to come back because a second impact is where we see ex especially a lot of danger if they are, that first brain injury hasn't healed. So we have a new program coming out just this summer actually on concussion that all of our chapters will be able to present um, when they're asked by schools or sporting uh, groups. And are you finding that some of the coaches now are a little more aware of the concern about con concussions? Oh, very much so. There, there really are um, standards that have been set and protocol for uh, states as far as what they require uh, any student before they go into a sport. So it's different from state to state, but they all want to have that education for the students and, you know, really just make sure that their students are being safe on the fields. And when you do some of your presentations, you have VIPs. Tell we us do. about your VIPs. We do. Well, VIP speakers are, that stands for Voices for Injury Prevention. And they are people who have experienced a brain or spinal cord injury themselves. And they would be hired by Think First Cadence or any of the other chapters to go out and do part of the presentation. So the nurse or the health educator gives the science and explains about the brain and spinal cord injury and how injuries occur. But then the VIP speaker gives their personal story and that really hits home with the kids when they hear you know, how it's affected somebody's life. Sure. Well, it's great stuff, and I want you to tell us about that wonderful saying that you all use. Oh, well, one of our big sayings is use your mind to protect your body. And so. that is a great place to leave it, and we thank you so much for being here with us and for the wonderful work you're doing. Thank, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Today's show is brought to you through the generosity of the Naperville JCs and Positively Naperville, and we're very grateful. Thank you also to the Naperville Garden Club for another beautiful floral arrangement. Many thanks to our guests today, our crew, and our viewers. This community is so extraordinary because of the people like those we visited with today and people like you. I'm Nancy Wearsome. Be sure to join us next time as once again, we shine the spotlight on Naperville.